So we're doing the video? Yeah. It's on now? Yeah. yeah right. I can edit it all out. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Jace, uh, training strongman at Victorian Strength Gym with Smitty and Alira and a bunch of other guys. Um, this is just a recap of the novice comp that we did last, not Sunday before, but Sunday before that. Um, and yeah. How you feeling, Jace? Nervous. Nervous? Nervous. Are you going to smash it though? You're nervous because you know that you're going to be famous after this comp and your life's going to change. Everyone's going to know your name after today. So this this first event was a tie deadlift. Uh, the tie was 380 kilos. I don't know how heavy it is on the actual lift. Maybe 180, 190 lighter, heavier, I'm not sure. Um, but this was the first event and this was the one I was probably most confident about. Um, but as you can see in the video, I sort of jumped the gun at, at the start there because I was so nervous. I wanted to try and get as many reps as I can in, obviously, because it's a max rep event. And uh, yeah, I sort of just needed to take that second to adjust and, and uh, yeah. So for the first couple of reps, obviously, oh, oh, went great, but then I started to get jelly legs and I started to, because I was so nervous, um, being my first comp, I just got really gassed really quickly and didn't wasn't breathing properly. So, if there's anything I could learn, if there's anything I have learnt from this of this comp, is that just to forget about who you're competing against or or just just breathe. So this event here was the uh, overhead push press. Bars 33 kilos, 220, so 73 kilos all up. This this event I was a little bit nervous about. Um, in training I, I managed to get 10 reps at this weight. So going into comp I, I, I was hoping that I could get a little bit more and ended up with 15 reps. So I was really happy with that. Um, toward the end of the the reps, I started losing a bit of technique, but with with this in training in the next couple of months, I'm gonna try and get to the point where I can actually get my shoulders far enough forward that I can rest the bar on my, on my shoulders, so it gives me a little break in between. So you can hear the audience screaming there to tell me to pick the bar up when really I just put the bar down so I could sort of get that break and I didn't get a long enough break. I had enough time but I didn't get a long enough break because of everyone screaming and I just rushed it and picked it up and, and I couldn't get that last rip but I think it was pretty tired. Yeah, don't have footage of the truck pull. Uh, 22.4 seconds I think I, I managed to pull a 4.7 uh, Renault van um, so I was pretty happy with that. So this is the farmer's walk. This is the one I love the most out of, out of the whole day. Farmer's walk I, I, I love doing in training and I love doing this event. Um, this was the last event, so I was pretty tired by this, this stage. No tripping over myself there with the keg. So the keg I was a bit, I was a bit worried about being a 90 kilo keg. Um, I'd never done that in training before. I'd always just done the 65 kilo for training, so. To get that six, to get the 90 kilo up and, and get it where I needed to get it, um, I was pretty happy with. Now this duck walk, it's a 90 kilo duck walk. I'd never ever done a duck walk before, and you can obviously tell by my technique there that it was pretty average. So um, that's another thing to take away from the comp that that I can practice that in training and, and, and learn the correct technique, and then and then we can go from there and see where we're at down the track. It's good to go to a novice comp, especially my first, and not. This was a mystery event, this medley, so I didn't know what was what was ahead of us, and, and to to realise now that you know, my next comp could be um, there could be a mystery event that we don't know. It's, you've just got to train. You're going to try and train for everything, really. That's that's what I've learnt. It's going to be hard because there's so many so many um, so many events, but. Yeah. 
So overall for the day, I placed third out of four people. Um, I was really happy with that. And that's that's our crew there, as you can see, and that's the, that's everybody that competed. I think there was about 35 people that competed on the day, so it was a good turnout. Um, this was in Ballarat CB Fitness. With So yeah, us with our medals and happy snaps. Favourite part of the day uh, was warm ups. <laughs> no, sorry. No, the favourite part of the day was probably the farmers right at the end. I love the farmers. Um, out of it, out of all the events, definitely was farmers. The drive. <laughs> the drive. The two hour drive to Ballarat and back. That was that was the least favourite part. Uh, Firstly, I could, I could go into it not worrying about where I am, which what position I'm in at, the, at that stage. I'd just forget about that, try as best to calm the nerves, forget about everybody watching and concentrate on the breathing and, and the movements, doing the correct movements. And that in itself, I would think, would hopefully get that extra rep that I would need to place second or higher up. So yeah, it's it's funny. It's funny. You actually say that because I got to the fourth event, the medley, and I I questioned myself of whether I actually wanted to do this, I wanted to keep going, um, and do another comp. And and it's uh, you just got to at the end of the day, you got to sit back and look at how everybody gets together as as a strongman community and has a bunch of fun. And and yeah, I think I think I'll definitely be doing other comps. I've got one planned already. Um, just have fun. Just, just have fun. Um, yeah, the thing I found was with with nutrition was I look. I noticed that all the people who had been the previous comps had had the right nutrition there, and for me, I don't think I had the right nutrition, and that was a that was another thing that I could have improved. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. So my life goals with strongman is to get a 300 kilo deadlift could be years to come from now that's just a goal that i've always had coming like starting off strongman uh yeah i'd love to um have a crack at victoria's strongest man um there's a lot of competition out there and there's a lot of a lot of improvements um and a lot of growth there for me uh going forward um, yeah so uh, and eventually Arnold's when when I think I'm ready um, fitness wise strength wise I'd love to have a go at Arnold's yeah um, so my when I first trained strongman uh, it was back in 2016 I um, started off at a strongman gym which gym was that guys strong Melbourne this is where I had the privilege of meeting this place. G'day Scotty, if you ever watch. You still alive, Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I uh, met Smitty and uh, trained for uh, eight, seven or eight months there. I uh, started noticing improvements, getting strong, and then, and then uh, due to whatever, whatever may have happened, I, uh, the gym came to a close and I um, left strongman. Took 12 months off. I was over, over in uh, the states, and Smitty was competing over at his his event over there as well. And uh, just just yeah, saw saw some videos and and it really sort of encouraged me to get back into the sport. So October last year, 2017, I um, got a hold of Smitty and just said, look, I want to get back into strongman and training and. Um, how can we go about it and and yeah it's it's sort of eventuated from there so um coming up to the to this um novice comp we sort of knew what the events were so we had a little bit of time to sort of weight cut there it wasn't an um wasn't necessary for me to cut weight but we just wanted to get a little bit down um which i was happy about i, I started off at about a hundred and 
three and a half kilos and got down to 98.9 on the day, I think it was. So I was pretty happy with that. So um, yeah, just that the month leading or the, or the month and a half leading, we, we knew the events, so we just trained hard for them. And, and uh, the mystery was obviously, a, uh, you, you couldn't train for the mystery because you didn't know what it was. But I think, I think what I'm learning as I go on training is um, certain movements and cer certain exercises doing one event can strengthen another event. Um, for example, my, uh, my bench back at Strong Melbourne was a uh, max rep of, of 90 kilos. And I haven't really, since being training with Smitty, I haven't really been doing a lot of bench, um, considering it's one, it's, it's, I like doing bench. It's, it, I haven't really focused on it. We've been more focusing on, say, log and overhead push press and I've noticed just from doing those those events or those techniques it's strengthened my bench press and now I'm um, getting a hundred kilo PB for bench press so I think that's definitely um, definitely a good thing to look at that it's not even though you're not training one event if you're training others that use the same muscle groups or or for whatever else it's going to improve regardless and that's what I've noticed.